Ladies and gentlemen, my first words are the words of gratitude to President Dole for his tremendous leadership and courage in leading our political family through challenging times. My second words are to Prime Minister Plenkovic and to our sister party, the HDZ, to thank them for the hospitality and to wish them success in the presidency of the European Union starting in January, a great success and a victorious campaign for the re-election of President Kolinda grabar Kitarovic and success of your Svoju Liepu Domovino. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, pick up any foreign policy journal today or even a mainstream newspaper and you cannot help but be worried. How often have you read about the so-called death of liberal democracy, the birth pangs of illiberal democracy, and the beginning of an authoritarian age. The EU is being written off by many as an irrelevant and dated institution. It has become accepted wisdom in some circles that free markets and free movement are inherently dangerous. However, ladies and gentlemen, I have come before you today with a very different message. A message of hope, a message of optimism, a message that would surprise many in this room that Albania, of all places, is a country where these ideas can thrive. A country whose people still strive for these values. A country whose people still believe that progress can only be found through openness, cooperation and collaboration. A country that believes in a strong and well-functioning European Union. And so, while our government fails to realize these ideals, it is crucial that we show the other side of this coin. What we are working towards is truly transformation, transformational in Albania, in line with the spirit of our people. Not only do we believe we must reform to take our country forward, but we believe the reforms must be of the European mold, to European standards. This will not happen overnight, and certainly not with the current government. It will require a great deal of national introspection. We must ask big questions of how we got to where we are, how we ended up in this crisis, because it does not have to be this way. Albanians are a forward-looking, ambitious, talented and well-educated people. And our commitment is to match this ambition by creating a climate in which small businesses and hard-working families can thrive, to give the people the tools to succeed. What we have is a vision and a plan to get us out of the slump and moving in the right direction, a vision for the next generation of a prosperous Albania working with Europe and our neighbours, a collaborative Albania, a positive contributor to the greater community of nations. Having trained as lawyer in Europe and having worked for the United Nations, I have seen what can be done when countries change their own standards and work closely with the international community. As Foreign Minister, I successfully negotiated Albania's entry to NATO and secured the EU's agreement for Albanian citizens to travel freely in Schengen countries. I know from my experience that working together and delivering on reforms is the best guarantee to success. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, to realize our vision, we must all work together. Albania today is at crossroads. We simply cannot afford four more years like the last four. Albania deserves a better future. Albania deserves a European future. And with your help, that is exactly what we will deliver. Thank you.